So very often, sculptures are made of famous people. The next sculpture we're going to look at is of a very famous person. In fact, this person was an artist who was alive 500 years ago. His name was Michelangelo. Even now, Michelangelo is considered to be one of the greatest artists of all time. And this is a sculpture of him when he was a young boy, probably about 12 or 13. As well as making sculptures, Michelangelo did paintings too. In fact, one of his most famous paintings is in Rome. It's the Sistine Chapel and he painted the ceiling. He painted lots of scenes from the Bible. You might want to check it out. This sculpture of Michelangelo as a boy was made by a different Italian artist whose name was Emilio Zucchi and it's made out of stone. This stone is actually marble and you often see marble sculptures in fancy places like posh hotels or important buildings like the Houses of Parliament for example. So because this is made out of stone then it's another example of carving. In fact if you look closely at Michelangelo and what he's actually doing, he's got a hammer and a chisel. He's making a sculpture. So in other words, this is a carving of somebody carving. How cool is that? Remember, when you do a carving, you have to be really careful. And if we look at Michelangelo, he looks like he's trying his best not to make a mistake. In fact, if we look closely at his face, we can see his expression. An expression shows us how a person is feeling or acting. And I would say that Michelangelo's expression is of him really concentrating. Maybe you guys could do some expressions in class. You might want to do an expression a bit like Michelangelo, where he's concentrating and really focused. Or you might want to do a different kind of expression. You could do happy or sad, or maybe go for something else like grumpy or angry or surprised. You might want to do expressions with each other where one person has to guess what the expression is.